Push it! Stop it! Stop! Stop talking to me! No, I'm already being. No! Oh, I'm already being. 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 I'm
What type of family is this? Unless it's because he was a, a stupid gang member, which would make absolute sense. You know, like who the hell wants a gang member living in a house? Anything can happen to you. But then why would you go and you try to live with a gang member? See what I'm saying? So I don't think that that was it. I, I, I see, judging by the way his mother looks, I, I seriously doubt that she cares about that. I wouldn't be surprised if she initiated him. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if she helped him learn how to tie his first blue rag. But this is the thing. A lot of the so-called sisters want to live off of their children. A lot of them essentially want to pimp their kids. So then that way they can milk them for money. You just don't know. Seeing their son and daughters move so fast across the floor. You know. Just put them out there. To <laughs> I was singing a little Bow Wow song because, of course, you know, his mom made sure he was famous starting at the age of, what, six? And this is normal when, when it comes to certain groups of people. You know, their parents put them out there basically to make a check. And they want their child to essentially be a meal ticket instead of the parent being a parent and being the one that takes care of them being the one who's providing for them they want the child to be the provider and that puts a certain certain type of stress on a child you know they expect the the boy in the family to be like the daddy or something it's really really weird man the, the type of stuff that goes on in certain groups households the the way that things are set up the way that things are structured or deconstructed depending on how you look at it but anyways, you got, and she looks really hella young, hella young. And his mama's fine too. So you know she's used to being the hot chick. I could tell by the, you could tell by the way a woman smiles. You know whether or not she thinks that she's something special. And you know his mom is is a fine woman. So I'm sure she's used to getting attention. I'm sure she's used to getting men throwing money at her. I wonder what she does for a living. I know she had something called. Angel angelic fitness or something like that. I don't. I don't know. I, I. I don't really know exactly what it is. If it's just like a fitness clothing line or she's like a, a personal fitness instructor. I don't really know exactly what she does. Somebody let me know in the comment section. Like, what is her occupation? Is it like blue faces pimp? Like, like what? What does she do? I, I know he's about to have a new step daddy if she ain't married though. Somebody let me know if his mom is single. I'm about to go holler at her. Because even though I may not approve of some of the foolishness and the shenanigans in the family he does need guidance so i'm about to become blueface's stepdaddy shout out to his fine mama and that boy ain't coming to our, our house with that cripping crap gang members are not allowed in our house i'm about to be miss carlisa's daddy carlisa magazine i can see us now meet angelic and carlisa magazine yeah carlisa magazine sounds sexy anyway wish me luck with blueface's mama I'm about to go Tatiana and them cheeks. Let me know what y'all think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. And that way you receive alerts when new videos get posted. Listen, man. This Negro Blueface, I may not approve of his gang crap and stuff like that. But he was right to kick them out. I believe his side of the story. He posted the surveillance footage. She's talking about blowing up the situation. He already done did, lady. He done posted the surveillance footage. So he's making y'all look like fools as he put it out there for what it truly was. Or at least in my opinion. I mean, hell, I agree with him. I can't believe I'm agreeing with some stupid gangbanger clown. But he's right in this situation, though. So, you know. Hey, I feel like uh, Blueface... I mean, I'm co-signing Blueface on this one. I can't believe I'm co-signing the Crip. You know, I know that I don't mess with slobs and crabs, but he's right in this situation. Gotta go, y'all. Meet MAGA. And stop freeloading off your kids. Y'all heifers need to get something going for yourselves. Get a business or something going, all right? You know, uh, go get you go get you a baller with some money or something and, and go get with him and, and instead of freeloading off your kids. And I'm not saying this lady's a freeloader. I'm just speaking in general because she might earn her keep, but... Like he said, you know, he said his sister's a freeloader, allegedly. And we all know how the sisters get down. We all know. They think that somebody owes them something because they're queens. And stop threatening your kids, talking about bringing them in the world and taking them out. That sounds abusive. That does not sound like love. I, you owe me something. Because how does she word it again? I sacrificed my life for them to be who they are. And they better not ever forget it. Like, what the hell does that mean? You sacrifice your life. And then you mean by giving birth to them? They didn't ask to be born. 
Remember, it's a woman's choice or a woman's body. The baby is a woman's body and all this other foolishness, right? So what in the world is this woman talking about? What does she mean? She sacrificed her life in them and they better never forget it. Like they, what, what do they owe you again? He doesn't owe you anything, lady. He's an adult. And even if he were a minor, he still wouldn't owe you anything. He's his own separate person. He could just cut you off for life and never speak to you again. He doesn't owe you a hello, a goodbye, a thank you, or nothing. So you need to pull your legs up your back, right up behind you, fall forward, do a tumble, and get over yourself. You need to pull your legs up over your shoulders and flip. All right? Nobody owes you narcissisters, narcissistic sisters, narcissisters, anything. And that's what y'all need to get through y'all thick weaves and skulls. All right, y'all, meet MAGA. I'm still hollering at this Q heifer. So wish me luck.